"'Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds "'while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. "'And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick i knew in a moment it must be saint nick more rapid than eagles his courses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now dasher now dancer now prancer and vixen on comet on cupid on donner and blitzen to the top of the porch to the top of the wall now dash away dash away dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the courses they flew, when the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, then shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Now this particular poem was written by Clement Clark Moore, who lived from 1779 to 1863. He wrote the poem, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," which was also called A Visit from St. Nicholas in 1822. It is now the tradition in many American families to read the poem every Christmas Eve. The poem, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," has redefined our image of Christmas and Santa Claus. Prior to the creation of the story of "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," St. Nicholas, the patron saint of children, had never been associated with a sleigh or reindeers. The author of the poem, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," was a reticent man, and it is believed that a family friend, by the name of Miss H. Butler, sent a copy of the poem to the New York Sentinel, who published the poem. The condition of publication was that the author of "'Twas the Night Before Christmas" was to remain anonymous. The first publication date was the 23rd of December in 1823, and it was an immediate success. It was not until 1844 that Clement Clark Moore claimed ownership when the work was included in a book of his poetry. Clement Clark Moore came from a prominent family, and his father Benjamin Moore was the Bishop of New York, who was famous for officiating at the inauguration of George Washington. The tradition of reading "'Twas the Night Before Christmas" poem on Christmas Eve is now a worldwide tradition. <laughs>